Hi. Now for this last part, we've got to find the perimeter of our region R and the area of R, given the answer to two significant figures. And I'll also have updated the length of the arc BC we found in part A is 5.7 centimetres and also in part B the area of the sector ABC that was 17.1 centimetres squares. So if you haven't tried this yet and you want to give it a go as usual I'll give you just a moment or two to pause the video. Okay, so for part D, let's see how we would go about it. Well, the perimeter of R, if we're going to find it, is just simply a case then of just adding our lengths together. That is, say, the length of DC, which is going to be AC, which we know is 6 centimetres because it's the radius, minus the length AD, which we found out to be 5.16 centimetres. So We've got for the length DC, that's 6 minus 5.16 centimetres. And then we need to add that length BD, but that's the same as the length AD, 5.16. So we put plus 5.16, and we finally got the arc length BC, which is 5.7 centimetres. And you can see that minus 5.16 plus 5.16, well, they cancel one another out to give zero. So it's just a question of 6 plus 5.7, and that's going to equal 11.7. 11.7 centimetres then. Now, for the next part, we've got to work out the area of the region R, giving our answer to two significant figures. And to get that area, what we need to do is work out what the area of the triangle ABD is and subtract it from the area of the sector ABC. So to get the area of a triangle, it's not going to be a question of using the former half base times height here. What we've got is two sides and an included angle. And we should be familiar with the formula half AB sine C. In other words, half the product of two sides times the sine of the included angle. And the two sides I'm going to pick happen to be AB and AD. And there is my included angle, 0.95. So if we work out then for part E, the area of triangle ABD is going to equal half the side AB, which is 6, multiplied by the side AD, which is 5.16. Or you might prefer to use the unrounded version of this answer, which is 5.1574 and so on, and then we multiply this by the sine of the included angle, which is 0.95 radians. And if you work this out, don't forget you need to be in radians mode because you're taking the sine of an angle in radians. And if you work this out on your calculator, you should find you get 12.585 and so on. Okay, and that'd be measured in centimeter squares. So that means that we're in a good position now to get the area of R. So the area of R is going to be equal to the area of the sector, ABC, which was 17.1 centimetres squared. And we subtract the area that we've just found, 12.585 and so on. And if you do that, you'll find that you get 4.514 and so on. But we've got to give this to two significant figures. So to two significant figures, it's going to equal 4.5 centimetres squares. Let me just say two significant figures. 2SF then for short. All right.